the year is 2019. The place is the scenic city of Udaipur and the car is the brand new Maruti Suzuki Wagner. It is a car that has found countless homes in the country but now comes with a slight design change, a host of features on the inside and new engine and transmission options. There's a whole lot going for this car and should you be making this one your next? Stay tuned to find out. The new Wagoners design changes on the outside are highlighted by blade-like chrome inserts on a reworked grille which is now flanked by dual split headlamps. The new fog lamps are housed in a spotlight casing. From the side, the car now gets subtle body lines above the flared wheel arches while the floating roof design highlights the familiar straight-shaped geometrics of the Wagoner. Day lamps too are propped up, although we wish the rear glass area was more than what it is. The cabin of the new Wagoner is where the real changes are at. Floating dash with multi-finish accentuated AC vents also houses a 17.78 cm infotainment screen on the top variant which has a plethora of features. Maruti has brought in what it calls its Smart Play Studio which connects to cloud-based services for driving information as well as news, sports, music and a whole lot more. Then there is a brightly coloured instrument cluster behind the steering which provides the absolute drive-related essentials. The cabin itself continues to have a large window area that has defined Wagoner for long. Quality of plastics used here and there however are not much to write about and could have been shades better. The seats too aren't the most comfortable, although there is more than enough leg space and headroom for passengers all around. We drove the 1.2 litre engine variant for this review and in the both manual as well as the AGS option. This is what was the best deal about the new Wagoner. There is definitely more power here than seen before, while the smooth shifts in the manual mode are quite decent. The AGS2 shifts almost as well and we're glad a largely city commuter now has this feature. What we didn't like about the drive was the amount of body roll here. Ordering was rather uncomfortable for passengers while the light steering wheel, minus any feedback, didn't make the driver feel all that confident either. NVH levels have been improved but still leave a lot to be desired from. On the flip side, the Wagoner manages to improve its ability to tackle potholes and keeps it steady inside the cabin on straight patches. The new Wagoner may still not be for the enthusiasts and the perfectionists, but the car would still more than satisfy the average Indian car buyer, especially at its price point. So there you have it. The all-new Wagoner ticks quite a lot of right boxes and it was a much needed update both on the inside and on the outside. For me, what works in this car is the subtle design change on the outside, a very well-equipped infotainment system and that 1.2-litre petrol engine and the option of automatic. What do you think about this car and will you be making it your next? Do let us know and thank you so much for watching.